You have definitely heard of 3D CRT, IMRT, VMAT, it's everywhere, but has anyone ever explained to you how they actually work? I mean, what's the real difference between them? Let me show you. Now let's break it down. What are we actually sending into the patient photons? And the first thing we care about is how many. That's what we call particle fluence. Particle fluence is the number of particles crossing a surface per unit area. And of course, photons carry energy, and that's uh, why we are using not only particle fluence, but also energy fluence. In 3D CRT, energy fluence is uniform. That doesn't mean we weren't using MLC. Um, they were there, but only to shape the beam. Fluence just means how many photons cross a given area, like this rectangle. I represent it here. Here is the corresponding 2D fluence map showing that in 3D CRT the beam delivers a uniform fluence across the entire field. And here we see the prostate, the seminal vesicles and the rectum positioned just behind the prostate. Let's say that we want to treat the prostate so irradiate the prostate but spare the rectum. The black rectangles represent the treatment fields used to target the prostate and the seminal vesicles. When both treatment fields are on, uh, both have uh, uniform fluence, but as you can see here, the rectum is still significantly irradiated. So in 3D CRT, if I place a detector anywhere in front of the field, it will measure the same value, for example, two thousand photons per centimeter squared at every point this illustrates that in 3d crt the beam delivers a uniform fluence across the entire field this is just an illustrative example and we could also measure the the energy the energy fluence expressed in joule per centimeter squared as i mentioned earlier mlc's are already used to shape the beam so that it conforms to the tumor's shape. In this example, still in 3D CRT, I can spare, thanks to the MLC, I can spare part of the rectum with the static MLC, but the downside is uh, that the seminal vesicles are left uncovered. In IMRT, this one is called step and shoot IMRT, we first turn the beam on to deliver the dose for a given MLC position. Here we have no MLC um, just in front of the beam. Then turn it off and we will move the dynamic MLC to another position. And when the beam is turned on again, uh, another segment is delivered. This results in a non-uniform fluence because at certain area for example here near the near the edge more photons are delivered meaning more energy passes through with imrt the fluence is no longer uniform across the field if we place a detector here we might measure 2000 photon, photons per centimeter squared while in another area we could measure only 1000, for example, photons per centimeter squared. This variation in fluence allows us to tailor the dose distribution, delivering more dose where needed and less where we want to spare healthy tissue. Here, for example, I can spare most of the rectum using this technique. Step one, we deliver a uniform dose. Step two, the MLCs move to block part of the rectum and step three we turn the beam back on covering the target while sparing healthy tissue in this case the rectum in this in this example i am showing only two beams but in clinical practice we often use five beams or even more sometimes nine beams this comes this concept uh, has also evolved into techniques where irradiation is delivered while the MLCs are moving, known as sliding window IMRT. In IMRT, the fluence map is highly variable with some areas 
receiving more photons and energy than others. This modulation helps target the tumor while sparing normal tissues. VMAT is a radiotherapy technique where the machine rotates around the patient while continuously adjusting the beam shape and intensity. This allows precise dose delivery in a shorter time. In VMAT, fluence mod modulation is achieved through three main parameters. The first is the gantry speed. The machine can rotate faster or slower at specific points along its circular path around the patient, depending on the dose needed in this area. As in IMRT, sliding window IMRT, dynamic MLCs move during irradiation, shaping the beam and creating a non-uniform fluence. During rotation, the beam shape is never the same. The MLC adjust at every angle to sculpt the dose precisely. The third parameter is the dose rate. The machine can vary the number of photons delivered per second at different points along the arc. For example, here we have 5,000 photons per second and here we have 8,000 photons per second depending on the dose required in that area. These numbers are just for illustration. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!